Hello people, 075 here again, uh, just a quick vid this time round. Um, you may have noticed I am sporting new headwear. Yes, it's the uh, Sh Shoei Neotech 2. Um, they made us to sort of like grab one. Uh, probably for the last year or so because my sh showy Neotech, which I've had for just over five years, it needed changing. Um, the phone line it was just starting to disintegrate, um, and the visor was just all messed up, and yeah, it just just needed to uh, to change it. Uh, so there was only one natural choice, and that's to go for the Neotech too because I found the um, the showy Neotech quite a lovely helmet practical and it's versatile and I can flip the front up especially in hot weather actually I'm going to take a left here I'm going to go up to, to Coombs oh, a nice little ride through the countryside oh, just by Shore Airport Um, I did have a concern with the Neotech 2 because down here, somewhere along here, it's all geared up for Senna. Um, a great disappointment with Shoei, a massive disappointment, is like why team up with a one particular communications company when they know that this helmet is used by a lot of people in the, in the touring fraternity yet they want to you know have an exclusive integral comms where that doesn't meet most of their customers so i was in two minds whether to buy the showy neotech 2 um, purely for that reason only because i've got a cardo so i thought oh, if i buy it do i take the risk and see if i can get the smart pack to fit within this helmet so I part of my money I bought the uh, this helmet from um, on the wheel in Southwick great team down there by the way um, very helpful tried the right size helmet um, I found the medium which I had like last time a little bit on the tight side so I've now got a, a large which is makes a massive difference it's a lot more comfortable it's still firm and, and that especially around the cheeks but I should be able to talk good and proper now. Anyway, where was I? Ah yes, my decision to buy Neotech 2 when it's got the center integral space for their communications, which all my mates and everybody that I know are with Cardo. And they've got the Pack Talk or the Smart Pack or Pack Smack or Smart Mark Pack Pack, whatever you want to call it. Um, and what we obviously like the DMC communications, I mean, it is absolutely brilliant. I uh, do, do enjoy that. Just makes talking amongst your fellow riders enjoyable and for hours and hours and hours. Anyway, back to the point. Can I get the Cardo Smart Pack and the Pack Talk to fit on this helmet? Well, yesterday I tried. And the more I tried, the more I was convinced it wasn't going to work. It wasn't so much putting the unit, which is now situated a little further back than what I'd like. So the metal bracket had to come out. I had to discard that. That will not fit in here. I'm glad I kept the, uh, the original packaging because in there was the other bracket, which is on a self-adhesive sticker. And then I can just mount that on the side. That was the easy bit. Anyway, the problem I had is getting the boom mic down the side of the cheek. Because it's all geared up for centre, it's too tight for the boom to sort of like stick out from the, um, uh, from, from the cheek. I'll lift, my, I'll lift my helmet up. Well, 
with a lot of faffing and trying to use uh, self-adhesive stickers, trying to use uh, Velcro pads, eventually I've got it to fit and make it strong enough where it's just not going to sort of like flap around or anything like that inside. Um, yeah, infuriating to sort of like say the least. Actually, I'm going to go left. Okay. Let's go through Stenning. Used to work up here years ago. And there's me and my noisy beast just coming through a very quiet Sussex town. So yeah, here's a little word of advice to uh, Shoei. Yeah, comms and helmets, choosing a particular manufacturer, don't do it again. Because I very nearly didn't buy one of your helmets, no matter how good they are. Naughty. Not impressed. So, why did I end up buying the Shoei? Well, yeah, the comms, that was a risky thing because I couldn't find anything on, um, on YouTube or any other material where um, people saying, oh yeah, you can have Cardo systems on the Shoei Neurotech 2 helmet and show you how to put it on. So, hence another reason for this video. Because it can be done, but the boom mic around by the ears and trying to get that around the front is a bit of a faff. So, with no tech, love the integrated visor always, keeps you nice and cool, and especially when it's really hot. And that's the thing I do like about this helmet. When you're coming in through like towns, villages, and it's like, especially if it's on a hot day, you can just lift the whole visor up and just really enjoy your surroundings and trying to keep cool too. So my motor blog is set up, basically identical, um, works perfectly. I put the self adhesive pad in that down here, that fits on there nicely. No complaints, that was easy, you know. In fact, actually, I think on the front chin guard, I've actually got a bit more room for the extra microphone, which I've actually, this time, I've just moved to the left hand side a bit more, so you're not going to get more of my heavy breathing. You know, I said to the wife, I'm only going to come out for a, a little while, just have a quick run around the block, just try and give my bike a bit of a, a bit of a quick run. But I can't help myself. Go through up a meeting. Oh, there you go. God, such a lovely evening. Quarter eight. So what do I like about the sh the showing here to, to helmet? Well, it's slightly thinner, you know, on the head, more aerodynamic, and I've already noticed a drop in um, wind noise and that compared to my other helmet. Um, so there's a, a lot of instant improvements. It's the first time I'm wearing this helmet, and regardless of the the, the decision showing made with the center comms, <laughs> I'm glad I bought it. Right, let's go. Anyway, if you do like what we're doing with the guys these videos with a little bit of this and a little bit of that, everything just like motorcycle related, um, please do subscribe and smash that bell so you'll be notified every time we do a new video. Your subscription would be greatly appreciated. So that's it for now and I'll see you next time.